Let us see the next question. On 31st of August 2020, the value of the stock index was 2200. The liquidity rate of interest has been 8% per annum. The dividend yield on the stock index is as under. Okay, so the today's date is like 31st of October. Assuming that the interest is continuously compounding daily, find out the futures price of the contract de deliverable on 31st of October. Given E factor provided to us like this. So friends, we understand that so the dividend information which is provided for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. All that information are not going to make any sense to us. This dividend information is going to be useful to us. And over here, so we have been provided with the information that the rate of interest is 8% per annum. So we can make the computation of the future price say using the spot value which is given to us, dividend information which is given to us and the rate of interest which is given to us. So we have to work out the answer like this. Working out number one. Calculation of average yield per annum from 1st of September to 31st of December. For these three, four months, this four months, whatever the dividend information is given to us, that we are required to, that is say, make average. For the month of September, it is 3 percentage. For October, it is provided again 3 percentage. For November, it is 4 percentage. And for December, it is 3 percentage. 4 divided by 4. So here, 9 plus 4, that is 13 upon 4. So on an average, it is 3.25. That is 3.25 percentage. This is the dividend yield. Now, F is equal to spot plus interest minus dividend. This is the way we make the computation answer usually. So, what do we do usually, friends? We do something like this. The spot value is given to us at the beginning of the question as 2200. This is the spot value given to us. So over here, 2200 plus 2200 into 0 0.08 minus, I'm sorry, 0 0.08 into 4 divided by 12. Because the future price is to be found for 4 months, minus 2200 into 3.25 percentage. The dividend yield which we have calculated into 4 divided by 12. That is the way, say so usually we are required to, that is usually we were calculating the answer. But since over here the E factor information is given, so slightly we have to modify it. So spot into E raised to RF minus dividend into time period. So spot is 2200 into E raised to 0 0.08 minus 0 0.0325 into time period is 4 divided by 12. So 2200 into 0 0.08 minus 0 0.0325. So 0 0.0475 into 1 divided by 3. So in that case, it is E raised to 0 0.01583. And you can see that in the question, future value factor is provided to us, that is E factor, for E raised to 0 0.01583. And its value is 1.01593.
so 2200 into 1.0 1593 okay so 2200 into 1.0 1593 so it comes to 2235 0.046 in a normal situation what would happen friends 2200 into 8% into 4 divided by 12 so it is 2200 plus 58.67 minus 2200 into 3.25% into 4 divided by 12 23.83 2200 plus 58.67 minus 23.83 so it comes to 2234.86 so this is what say the kind of difference that we have but definitely from examination point of view going for this method is mandatory for us not voluntary it is mandatory for us why because we are required to show the working that say we are using this e factor for the purpose of making calculation of answer so please write down answer of the question first dividend and then futures value 